Welcome back to another Singularity of the Day. Today's question is, why does my solid look like a shell? Now take a look at this cube here, pretty simple. But as you can see, it's like one of my faces is missing. Uh, why is this the case and how do I fix it? It should be just a solid cube. Well, what's happening here is that the there is a face, um, but it's transparent. So notice I could actually change the transparency of one face just right click on the face and choose choose transparency and that will do it to the other face there so again this is why it looks like a shell but really it is a solid feature so how do we get it back well let's select the face again well I can't select it right I can select through those transparent faces how do I select uh, those transparent faces the keyboard shortcut here with the default options is to hold shift Notice when I hold shift, I have that dynamic selection there. It shows me um, that I am going to select that transparent face. Without holding shift, right, my selection goes right through. So I'll hold shift, right click. You can see that change transparency is enabled. I'll just turn it off. And do the same thing there for our other face. So now it looks like a solid cube. Again, I mentioned default options here. So if we do have a face that is transparent, take a look. If we go into our display selection section of our system options, there's an option here. Enable selection through transparency. You can turn this off if you want. So without holding shift now, I can select that transparent face. To change that back to opaque, we get our regular cube with no transparency. So help Hopefully this helps you understand what may be going on if a solid feature looks like a shell and how to control those transparency settings for individual faces and entities. Have a great day.